To start a project, press the simple Add Project icon. Note that there are only four sections required to be completed to start your project, and there are two optional sections provided, a team section to assist in collaboration, and a risk section which allows you to track risks on your project. The Project Information tab can be filled out, and it provides the project title, the scope of work, a checkbox to indicate if the project is private or not. You can use a very simple people selector to select the project manager, the portfolio manager. You can also use an easy drop down to indicate the funding source. Note that when you complete this section, the required tab disappears from the left hand nav and is replaced with a check mark and a countdown is updated accordingly. On the schedule tab, Simply enter the start date and the finish date for your project and at least one project milestone. To enter a milestone, just include the brief description and a due date. On the financials tab, enter the total project cost and your yearly values in the year boxes. The tool auto spreads your yearly budgets evenly across the months. Special expenses can be added to denote large procurements or costs that may adjust your yearly spending plan. Within the charge number tab, a charge number can be selected Simply press the arrow to validate. The account information will be displayed and allow you to verify the correct charge number has been entered. Once all the required information is entered, the countdown will become a green start button and you can start your project. That's all there is to it. If you choose to use the optional team tab, add a team member and enter their planned FTE percentage by year, which can be done by clicking the Add from ORNL button and then selecting the team members. If you choose to use the Project Risk tab, this is a convenient way to document potential threats or opportunities, including their impact to schedule, cost, and probability. Once you press the green Start button, you can start your project, and at that time, your dashboard and Status My Projects will appear in the left-hand navigation. See how easy that was? The only thing remaining now is to status your project once a month. To status your project, simply enter the Schedule tab and update your milestones. Once you've updated your milestones, go to the Status My Project tab. Here, only four simple questions are required to be answered covering cost and schedule performance. On the right-hand side of each of these questions, you will notice observations to help you. In the Status Summary section, provide a brief narrative of your project status and an optional Technical Accomplishments section has been provided to include any notable accomplishments since your last status update. Once finalized, your status information will update the project dashboard. That's how easy it is to start your project and to complete your project. For more detailed information about specific sections, features of the application, or for answers to frequently asked questions, please review our other help videos. Thank you so much for your interest in this tool.